Okay, so uh, hi everyone. Um, I'll talk about uh, continuous integration for your presentations. Um, but first, uh, I did the, the concurrency class with uh, uh, Anthony uh, the last two days, and I uh, wanted to share this uh, bit of uh, JThread uh, code with you. So um, I have here a JThread, which will uh, wait for one second and then print world. And then from uh, main, I print hello. And I expect it to first print the hello and then uh, world. So let's try to run it in Compile Explorer. Uh oh, it printed uh, word first. OK, maybe the I don't wait enough. Maybe one second is not enough. Let's try with five. No, still the world is printed first. And now uh, my presentation uh, is uh, badly faulted. What will I do? Anyone has an idea? Okay. Well, uh, what happened is that I forgot to name this J thread, and therefore uh, it was immediately destructed, and then uh, the destructor was blocked until the function was uh, would finish, and that's why the world uh, was first. So after uh, naming it, finally I get this hello world. So I always hate it when one of my presentations examples fails to uh, demonstrate what I wanted it to. And that's why I, I have a, a continuous integration for my presentation as, um, because they are written as code using the Reveal.js uh, uh, framework. I can uh, test them using code. Now, uh, here you can see uh, the GitHub actions uh, for this presentation and its run test phase uh, has indeed failed. And uh, if we look at the failure, the actual output was world hello. Well, it was, it was expecting hello world. So how does it know what to expect? So every uh, code sample is uh, has these uh, directives, uh, which are commented with three forward slashes. Uh, those directives also tell Compiler Explorer which compiler and, uh, and options to use. But I also have this uh, output directive, uh, which is then uh, checked to be the, the expected uh, output from this. Uh, code sample. Now, I uh, don't know if you noticed, but I have another problem on this slide. And uh, this is a typo. This asynchronous, I always get it wrong. It should be a U, an O, U here at the end. And uh, I have here another uh, CI run after I fix the test. But then I have this spell check uh, stage, and indeed it uh, errors on this typo. So um, the tools uh, you should use to have this uh, CI for your presentations are uh, reveal test NPM package uh, and reveal compile explorer NPM packages, uh, which I uh, wrote, and uh, for the spelling, uh, you have this syspell package, um, which also has many other uh, good um, options for spell checking uh, any code, basically. And uh, that's it. Thank you all for uh, listening. <laughs>